My name is Shelly Balls and I am a nutrition and food safety educator for the University of Wyoming Extension. Today we are going to talk about sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are packed with a lot of great nutrients. They have a lot of vitamin A, they have a lot of fiber, especially if you eat the outside skin. They also have a lot of potassium and a lot of other B vitamins, which is really good for our health. So they're kind of tricky. When you go to the store, it kind of can be confusing. So we're going to talk about some ways to know if you're getting the right soft sweet potato that we want today. There is two types of sweet potatoes, typically at the grocery store. There is your soft sweet potato, which has a copper skin and a orange flesh that typically when people talk about sweet potatoes, this is what they're looking for. And there's also another type of sweet potato. And this is the sweet potato that has kind of a kind of a tannish skin, but you can see the inside is white. So it has a lighter flesh than, for example, your soft sweet potato. So this is considered a hard sweet potato and this is considered the soft sweet potato, which most recipes are gonna be talking about this soft sweet potato. There is also um, what you call a yam. So you'll see that a yam, although looking differently, this has a lot of different kind of growing marks on it where you'll have kind of these strings that grow off of it, okay? So this is a yam, this is a sweet potato, they're both tuberous, but a yam is more fibrous. Um, it has a lot more of that kind of dry, um, dry kind of feel to it, and it's it's not as sweet as, for example, your sweet soft sweet potato is. Okay, more starchy, um, more moist right here for this soft sweet potato compared to the yam. You'll notice that skin-wise, there's a few differences. This sweet potato with the soft um, skin is more smooth than say that your yam is, but yams come in all different colors. So be careful when you're shopping for um, the specific item that you want. Specifically, a lot of the U.S. grocery stores call a soft sweet potato a yam. So be careful if you're looking for something like this, look for that soft smooth skin and if you want you could even just scrape just a teeny tiny next to like the root end and just make sure it's orange on them in the inside and it's kind of soft compared to the outside of this one, it's really hard. Okay, so we got past the shopping, what do we do now? So today's recipe, we're actually gonna make sweet potato fries and that's sweet potato fries with our soft sweet potatoes. So we have our baking sheet and you can line it with parchment paper, but we have started to preheat our oven for 425. We are gonna go back and we are gonna chop our sweet potatoes up into long, about a quarter inch um, wide strips. And we're gonna soak those strips for at least 30 minutes. You can soak them to up, up to overnight as long as you put them in the fridge for food safety. So once we soak those, that will help get those um, kind of the starches out and so it's not gonna be as kind of gummy if we cook them and so it's gonna make that nice crisp product that we're hoping to get. So we're gonna go chop those up, we're gonna get soaking and then we'll come back. All right, so we've let our sweet potatoes soak for at least 30 minutes and now we have them blotted dry. They're nice and dry, we've drained that water off and they're ready to get started um, in the oven. So. What we need to do is add our oil, so two tablespoons of oil. We'll drizzle that in there and then we're just gonna toss it to coat. Make sure all those pieces have a little bit of olive oil on them. The great thing about sweet potatoes is they can be in so many different recipes. You can make roasted sweet potatoes, baked sweet potatoes, um, sweet potato fries, sweet potato burritos. You can throw them in pretty much any casserole that you want. Just slice them really thin. They're a really great vegetable to add into your diet. All right, so you can see that those are nice and shiny from that olive oil. Now in a separate bowl, we are gonna mix our pepper with our cornstarch. So we have half a teaspoon of pepper and we have two teaspoons of cornstarch and we're gonna add our half a teaspoon of paprika. 
And then finally our half a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right. So we're gonna whisk this mixture together. So that cornstarch makes sure that we make a nice crispy product. That's gonna help kind of evaporate some of that moisture out of the fries and give you a good end result there. So now that we've got that mixed in, we're gonna sprinkle this over the fries. And now we're also going to coat each of these fries with that cornstarch and make sure it's nice and dissolved with that oil that's on them. You might have to use your hands for this. All right, so now we are gonna put it on either a sprayed baking sheet or if you just wanna have some parchment paper down or a tin foil, uh, aluminum foil will also work too. So we're gonna spread those out. And we wanna make sure that those fries aren't overlapping each other because that can prevent them from crisping up. So we wanna try to get a single layer if we can and it might require a couple smaller pans or maybe even a couple larger pans, depending on how many fries you want to do. So about two sweet potatoes is about one pound that the recipe calls for. All right, so we have them ready now and we're gonna slip them into the oven at 425 and we're gonna cook them and kind of depending on your desired crispiness, uh, the recommendation is that we cook this for 15 minutes, pull it out, and then once you toss that back in, kind of mix those fries around so we can get multiple sides cooking, put it back in for another at least 10 to 15 minutes and maybe even more depending on your desired crispiness. So once we get that in the oven, cook that up and we'll come back. All right, so we've baked these for 25 minutes total and you can go a little bit longer if you want a little bit crispier of a product, but here they are, our sweet potato fries. Great way to get some vitamin e, A in and some great fiber if you leave the skins on especially. My favorite sweet potato recipe is the sweet potato fries, but I also love sweet potatoes and chili too. So don't be afraid to get creative, throw that sweet potato into a lot of different recipes and give it a try. Thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoyed it.